HB 76, Senator Reinbold. Thank you, Mr. President. I had a very long multi-page speech. I'm just going to hit the highlights in the speech. Um, but I want to tell you why I will be a passionate no vote. One, this has ex po facto issues with it. It subverts constitutional power to an unelected official. It undermines legislative authority. Um, I know with the SNAP benefits, I told people I was happy to work with those on it. I know that um, people are working with the U.S. Senator Sullivan on a waiver in regards to that. That would be a great question when he comes here uh, the first week of May. Um, I don't believe we need this bill at all. Um, the, the governor can, he, one, he has disaster declaration authority for 30 days, and also there is a, a federal one in place. I, to me, a test of, of this is how strong your oath is to the Constitution. I've never seen a bill so unconstitutional. And this basically violates the 30-day historic uh, rules. This is, this is going to be all the way through till December 2021. I really want to tell people that I, I did have a lot of information in regards to the PrEP Act, and if businesses do require this vaccine, which technically under emergency you, you can't require, but if they do for any crazy reason, they are not protected from immunity. Just read the PrEP Act. That is very important. Um, in regards to um, the no-bid uh, procurement issues, I, I just find that outrageous. Um, in regards to... Um, this gives more powers uh, to, to the uh, governor in many, in many aspects. I don't like the, uh, basically the executive branch, whether it's uh, the, the mayor that has been very hard on Anchorage doing these different health orders that have really troubled um, education. They have, they have created constitutional concerns, separation of powers. They have violated uh, the Bill of Rights. They have violated inherent rights. And for example, inherent rights are the principles that all persons have the right to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, and to enjoy the, the rewards of their own industry. When people are said they're essential versus non-essential, I had a real hard time with those type of mandates. I don't want these kind of things to happen again. No person should be denied the enjoyment of any civil, political right for race, creed, uh, sex, or, or national origin, in my opinion, I was trying to protect people to not have be denied access without a vaccination. And I, I, I'm just very disappointed that that amendment uh, got messed with and didn't get through. It certainly would have made this bill better. I will tell you that nowhere in the Alaska Constitution is the legislator granted the authority to reassign constitutional authority from rent one branch to another We're also, the legislature is prohibited from passing any amendments that would violate the state or federal constitution, Bill of Light rights. This, um, I'm not going to get into this whole page, but basically at a high level, this, this page of my speech dealt with um, U.S. Code 242, the unlawful deprivation of rights acting under the color of law under 18 U.S. Code 242. I would love to read that and get that in the record today, but out of time, I'm going to go ahead and just, just highlight that you cannot, the, the items one or two above demonstrate how 76 in its current form is an overt attempt to undermine Alaska Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Bill of Rights, as well as the legislator's oath of office. It falls under the legal crime of deprivation of rights under the color of the law. The state government and, and the governor risk both civil and criminal penalties prosecuted by the good people of Alaska if this bill is passed. In numerous cases over the years, the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled that even in extreme circumstances of the state of emergency, the government authority does not have the right and the power to deprive citizens of fundamental natural rights and civil liberties, even when the governmental purpose is legitimate and substantial, and that the purpose cannot be pursued by means of the broadly stifled fundamental personal liberties when the end can be more narrowly achieved, and that is Shelton versus Tucker, 364 U.S., 479, and 488. The, the procedural safeguard depend on the liberty and interest at stake with a three-part test. First, the private interest that will be affected by the official action. Second, the risk of erroneous deprivation of such interest through procedures used and probable value, if any, of additional substitute procedural safeguards. And finally, the government interest, including the function involved in fiscal and administrative burdens, that additional 
or substitute procedural requirement would entail, and that is Matthew versus Eldridge, 424 U.S., 319 and 335. Again, this is a violation of due process of law. House Bill 76 and its current four is attempt to use unlawful and unconstitutional emergency mandates, which result in unlawful deprivation of rights. The fact that Alaska legislators attempting to accomplish this without lawful authority to do so confirms that the Alaska legislature is prepared to act under the color of the law. In this effort, this is a direct violation to all lawful protections of the people's natural and civil liberties. Further, the Alaska legislature's attempt to do this while providing immunity for unlawful act, uh, Unlawful actors, including all past and future acts, deprive Alaskan citizens of their right to due process of law, establishing open-ended penalties, fines, even potential incarceration without due process of law, guaranteed to every citizen under state and federal constitutions and the Bill of Rights. In summary, House Bill uh, 76 in its current fall current form is unlawful, unconstitutional in its entirety. To make matters worse, it's retroactive in the form of de facto law. The mere effort to pass any such law is a broad effort to undermine the Constitution of the Alaska and the United States, which results in deprivation of natural rights and civil liberties of the good people of Alaska. As such, there is no way, even with these amendments, to have amended this to result in making this bill lawful or constitution. I will be a passionate no vote. Thank you.